Well, you all know that I'm a camper, and this is my anti-establishment t-shirt. Last year, we couldn't do anything because we were all quarantined. My wife, Brenda, found these, and so I'm wearing this in revolt tonight. Um, I'm wearing it because COVID-19 is still around, and, and quite frankly, I'm just a little bit tired of it. This is going to be, this is our second Lent. It's going to be our second Easter with COVID. We went through Christmas with COVID and restrictions, and it just gets a little bit aggravating. I, I'm, I'm giving us all freedom to acknowledge that and to speak it. I know last year during Advent, I was, I was in a real weird place because of the limits that were placed on how many we could have come to church. And we've got those limits again for, for the Triduum and for Easter. And what I've tried to do through Lent at least is listen to what people are saying about how they feel about it all. And, and I know I've listened to adults talk and you can hear the frustration. I've listened to youth talk and you can hear, I don't know if they know it's frustration, but you can hear how their life is upset because it isn't what it should be. And, and really, I think frustration is a good word to, to use for it because frustration just means that something isn't going the way we like it. The psychiatrists have got a big fancy definition, but what, what it all boils down to is the same thing. Things either aren't going the way we had planned them, there's some barrier in the way that we, things just aren't right in our lives. And I think it's okay to acknowledge that we're frustrated. But Sunday morning, in the morning prayer, part of that prayer is just like when we're in church, there are intercessions, there are prayers that we say, and that there is a response that we say. And what struck me Sunday morning was the response was, Lord, create a new spirit in us. And then I read the intercessions, and I'm not going to read them all to you, but, I, but there were four lines, three different intercessions that I thought had part of them that it really helped me Sunday morning, and I want to pass them along. The first one was, may we walk today in newness of life. If we're frustrated and things aren't the way we want them to be, are we opening ourselves up to finding something new? Are we opening ourselves up to the opportunities that are there that God's providing for us? Are we recognizing them? May we walk today in newness of life. The second one, and I'm going to read you the whole intercession. Lord, you have brought blessings to all mankind. Bring us to share your concern for the good of all. At least for me, Sunday morning, part of the reason I was frustrated is because I'm focused on me. And the second part of this intercession was, bring us to share your concern for the good of all. So once I start looking outside of myself and I start worrying about the concern, the care for others, some of my frustration leaves me. The third one was healer of body and soul, cure the sickness of our spirit. This one was a little harder for me to swallow. And it's a little harder for me to say to you and maybe you to hear from me because you know I've got a seat at every Mass that I want to come to. But as I come to the different Masses and look out, I know that there is always one or two masses that are pretty full and another mass that there's plenty of room at. And I know that we're all creatures of habit. See where I'm standing? I think this was the pew that Brenda and I used to sit in when we sat together. It feels like it's the right distance from the altar. I'm comfortable here. I'm comfortable coming at a certain mass. But it's the same God at every Mass. 
Okay, yeah, Father's homily and my homily and Deacon Jerry's homily will get better by the time you've heard it for the third time on Sunday morning. But it is the same God. It's the same Mass. It's the same body and blood of Jesus Christ that we receive. Maybe God is calling us to live, maybe in this COVID time, God is calling us to live outside of the box that we're very comfortable living in because he's got something else he wants us to know or something else he wants to give us. So I'll go back to that response that we get, gave Sunday morning. Lord, create a new spirit in us. 